Your research published at the Journal of Psychological Science suggests that people are more likely to reject somebody in an anonymous setting than in a real world context. We're here at the University of Toronto with lead author of People Overestimate Their Willingness to Reject Potential Romantic Partners by Overlooking Their Concern for Other People, Sam Joel. Sam, why don't you start by telling people what that means? Rejecting people is hard to do. It's hard to turn someone down. And it's in fact harder to turn them down than people expect it to be. Probably say yes and then feel awkward about it. <laughs> so even if you think that you're more or less likely to reject, my research shows above and beyond that, you're actually less likely to reject than you think you are. <laughs> Maybe engage in conversation for like another 10-15 minutes. Is it because in a real life context they feel awkward about rejecting somebody? Do they feel uh, embarrassed or guilty? Here we go. No, it's not because of him. No, it's not because of him. I'll try not to do it. <laughs> Sorry. It's just that they're they're underestimating the impact that emotions play in their decision making. So they're not realizing how hard it actually is to turn someone down who you don't want to be. Uh. What sort of implications uh, would this research have for something like Tinder and Grindr? Is that a better way of going about it? You're narrowing down your, uh, your choices right then and there. And... Uh, with that facial expression? And things like like Tinder and Grindr uh, are based on such super, superficial information. With that facial expression. <laughs> really, you can only filter by what we call searchable goods, things you can search for, like like age or height. Show me your best angle. <laughs> like, the, the, the chemistry that you have with someone, which you can't tell from something uh, like a photo and some basic information. I don't know. You can read a person right away. At least I can. I think that uh, I think that in person is definitely the way to go, especially if you don't want to be selected based on something like a photo and a brief paragraph you wrote about yourself. Um, on the other hand, if you're worried about people agreeing to a date reluctantly, going on a couple more, and then just not returning your phone calls, then perhaps uh, allowing that filtering process to happen at the outset is is better. Nip it in the book. You still could have let me down easier, Tara from high school. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Great high school issues. <laughs>